Thanks to Mark II, as promised, Nikki's bell has arrived. So, on a drunken night in February, we all got together and hatched a plan for this trip. In fact, was it? I don't know. I don't know when it was. I'm guessing February. Who knows? But the plan was we arrive in Bilbao on the 24th of June. Check. 0801. Check. It says 07.30 here. We must have had a little route um, direct redirection. Then head for Pau for the first night. Brackets, maybe two nights. We've gone for two nights. Then we are heading to Carcassonne for two nights, but we've, <laughs> we've changed that to one night. <laughs> Camping de la City, and then we're heading off to Girona for three nights or three days, it says. And then, and I think we've booked that, we've booked Rubina Resort for three nights. And then we're heading to Andorra for. Did we decide on one night? I think it's one night because we thought it might be cold. Yeah. We've gone for one night. But that can all be changed. Because Paul would complain if it's cold, yeah. wouldn't it? It's cold, I ain't doing it. Yeah. I've only come for the sun. Yeah. And then I've got Subrabi for three to four nights, question mark. Oh, that sounds good. But we haven't booked that, so that'll be that bad. hanging in the balance. Then Pamplona for one night. Which we're not over keen on because the bull run is around this time. So mm. it'll either be full of people anticipating the bull run, the bull run, or clearing up the bullshit of the bull run. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and the bodies and as well, I'm yeah. Very, and the dead bodies, I'm yeah. Not very, I'm not a massive fan of bull things because I think it's all a bit cruel, but I don't know whether that's Exploitation. Or not, but... The burgers were quite nice last night, though. Well, that's true. I am a <laughs> hypocrite. <laughs> and then... Leguitio, Leguitio Lake. I don't know if I pronounced that right no. either. For um, one night, I think. Seventh. Or was that two nights? No, because we've got to be back at the ferry port by eight. Yeah. Yeah. So that so is the basic itinerary. So let's see what actually happens, shall we? Right, cheers, everyone. Cheers. Well, uh, that's the plan that established. Cheers again, because I missed that. We'll see you in a couple of days. <laughs>
the runs loads of people was said stunning. Yeah. yeah, the campsite was really nice, and it was beautifully manicured lawns. Well, it was fine until <laughs> we got, we got there. there. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. We, we were sent to pictures that um, we duly went to and they were very wet and uh, we churned up made a bit of a mess of their lovely manicured well. lawns. To be fair to but us, but that's where we were sent. So. In two vans, we did brilliantly because we churned up three pitches. Three pitches. Actually, yeah. three and a bit because we turned a bit of the one opposite, <laughs> getting out of the other one. Oh <laughs> yeah, but the man came with his little rake. Yeah, to try and and fix. little golf trolley <laughs> to try and fix. I know, the he needed some massive digging. But actually, in hindsight, that's nothing compared to the pitches at our last stop. But anyway, we'll it's tell you about them later. Nice, yeah. And uh, we're back over here, both vans, in a fantastic campsite up here in La Runs. There's mushrooms. Some cheesy mushrooms. Cheesy mushrooms. Well, Paula loved them. <laughs> and what's going on over here? Don't know. Hookers and whatever they are. And we've got some power at the moment, so we're. It's quite renowned on French campsites that the um, the power trips out a little bit and stuff. Keisha's over there monitoring the electrics as we speak to make sure everything's going fine. What do you reckon, Keisha? <laughs> okay, yes, good. Right. <laughs> Very good, Keisha. <laughs> um, and crisps. And beer. And wine. Um, and a new coup. But most of all, the most impressive thing of all is what you bought in Spain this morning. No, that's a spring onion. <laughs> that's the advantage of coming that's through Spain. <laughs> What's the other advantage of coming through Spain? Oh, everything is so much cheaper. The supermarket is like super, super cheap Mucho. compared to France. Yeah, I'd definitely say go to France for your shopping. Oh, it's all kicking off. Yeah. So this morning we got five bottles of wine, um, a crate of beer, salad, burgers, sausages. Kebabs, milk, cheese, ham, baguettes, um, just absolutely loads of stuff for 63 Euro euros. I mean, at home, we used to pay that just for the wine. Kisha, Kisha. Out, out, out. Where's your fly spray? Uh, is this what you're looking for? Yes. Right, go at it. Breakfast. What's left of it? Underneath the watchful eye of three toed sloth tree. Mm. And this, of course, is all the dairy pro dairy products that we did, couldn't bring with us. So we had to go and get dairy. Which nobody checks anyway. Yes, nobody checked the dairy products. And bacon. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, bacon. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that well-known dairy product, <laughs> bacon. So it's uh, Sunday morning, so we're going down to the village where nothing will be open. <laughs> but uh, we needed the exercise. We need, yes, we. If we're going to drink all afternoon, we need to justify it. So that's it, and it's cool in the morning. So and this is a shady route we've chosen. Lakeisha. Village. Access the village at La Runs. Come on, Keisha. Do you the We don't I don't do we need to get out? There you go. Yay. Voila! Oh, the sound of running water. Alors que les supporters arrivent au coup de but, comme les coureurs. Getting a bit of that too, so I can rip it off. <laughs> Yeah. Nice little town. Yes, it's like a ghost town. It reminds me of Baron Bomber's castle. <laughs> I expect to see Benny Hill in a window. <laughs> beckoning the children in. Oh. Sort of random park up in the middle of town. Yeah, but they're French. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you drove down there, did you say? I'm just where everywhere. Oh, See, we're very close because there's a sign to Espana Esp there. So we're right on the border, yeah, aren't we? Got here, and then we... Oh, we turned around. Oh, yeah. So, what were you saying about rivers? Centerborg is that way. Oh yeah, here's the information board. Let's have a look at the information board. Oh. Ah. Oh. Yes, the other thing that's happening here is the Tour de France is coming through here. On the 1st of July, they start the festival. into the centre of the village, town, whatever it is. August 1895 for Pierre Coudrat, uh, a child of the village, and Lorenz is very grateful. Yes. Very good. Happy well village. Little fromagerie open on a Sunday over there. Where 
Is it fresh and minerally? Oh, we are in the mountains. We are. It's quite taut, actually. A bit taut. But it is. Yeah, it's lovely and cold. Yes, well, that'll have to do then. <laughs> well, what do you think? Cheers. Cheers. And it's not fresh and minerally, I would no. say, but it is very fruity. Goodsbury. Goodsbury, yes. Yeah. Straight a, off the mountains. Mm. Mm. It's probably a Sauvignon Blanc then. Oh, it's very nice. Much to get used to it. Mm. Yeah. How's the beer? It's beer, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Green again, Keisha. Lovely water. It's in the shade though, Keisha, so you'll be alright. Got it? So this is the hill. Now, isn't it? So that other one that caught us up, apparently, Nikki has a treat. Oh, what you got? A single? A baguette. And a baguette. A baguette. <laughs> and a baguette. How's your, how's your pair of knees? <laughs> Now I'm I'm more un, I'm more savoury rather than unsavoury. And this is the security fence to the campsite. It's secured at night all all the way around, and I don't know how I feel about that. I think it makes you more aware of security, don't you think? Yeah. There must be a reason for it to be here. No, 
Nice walk. <laughs> <laughs> Are you in your cage? Yeah. Next, opening a bottle of wine. Oh, excellent. Well, I will be out in a minute for my cage then. Is that a fly cage? Yeah. What have you got? I've got a security thing. Well, a little while ago, probably a couple of years ago, there was a big thing around us that people were stealing dogs. So I bought a oh. red alert self-defense spray, which is an ultraviolet to help identify and gives a red dye to mark, a foul odor to distract and contains no harmful substances. Sprays up to three fly. meters, so I don't even need to get near the- Is that lighters. what you sprayed on last night? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was for the flies, not you. <laughs> water bottle in bed yeah. in case yeah, of an intruder. Yeah. A water bottle? Yeah, my metal water bottle. Oh, I took no. it with me. I've got my burst and badminton ready. <laughs> 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 That's for smashing them in the cock. <laughs> So, what's the update on food? Well, we're having a paella. Uh, is that because we're in? France stroke Spain stroke oh. Andorra. Oh. <laughs> but, we have no peppers and we have no garlic. But, we had everything else. We've got chicken, sausage, tomatoes, white wine, stock. Paprika. Paprika, a bit chilly, a little bit chilly, but not a lot. Mm. Turmeric. And this is in the uh, Kadak Paya pan. Yes. And so this is just a, this is a practice one for the proper one we'll have with mussels and prawns. And, oh, and that's when we're in actual Spain. Peppers, yes. All right. So we're just on the run up and having a little practice. Good. Oops. Shoot over the dog So we're skirting across the south of France. The Pyrenees are now behind us. And um, yeah, we're heading to Carcassonne, which is a walled city. An intruder coming. This is Dixie Normus. I should do my Rick's dive now. What have you got? I've got a cassoulet, but it's from this region and it was invented. We've got to take some credit because it was because the British held the French under siege in places like this. And uh, what they had to do is just use what they could that was well preserved. So basically, it's haricot beans and things like uh, confit duck. So you can see on the sign here that we prepared earlier. But, um, Things like country de canard and cassoulet and soudonion is uh, what the what the French tend to eat at the time. Cheers. How's your beer, Paul? Very. <laughs> <laughs>